Hello CCS, it's good to be with you again on the back to school edition of the Eagle Express. If you're new to Coventry Christian Schools, the Eagle Express is a weekly newsletter that we send out to all families to keep you informed of what's coming up this week at school and to review things that have happened over the past week or two. This week's back to school edition will probably be one of the longer videos of the year and so I hope you will stick with me to the end so that you can hear about a lot of important and exciting things that we have coming up. It has been a busy summer this year at CCS. Our enrollment is up again for the sixth consecutive year, and we are just absolutely thrilled uh, that all of you are going to be with us this fall. There have been so many improvements that we've been able to make over the past couple of months here on campus. We've remodeled our chapel and kindergarten hallway. We have added two individual music instruction rooms. We've replaced a few of our HVAC systems. We've added air conditioning in the gym. We've painted, we've renovated our nursery, we finished installing a new fire alarm system. The list just goes on and on. And so I just wanna take one moment and say thank you to all of the staff, the contractors, and the volunteers that have made this summer so productive in getting our school ready for the fall. So thank you very much. There are a number of things that I wanna point out to you this week uh, that are coming up over the next couple of weeks and even the next couple of months. The first thing that I wanna share with you is our new Period 8 program at Coventry Christian Schools. What is Period 8? Period 8 is an after-school club program for students in grades six through 12. A few years ago, we launched grammar school clubs and those have been a huge success. And this fall, we are ready to launch the secondary version of that. And so I hope that you'll take a minute to look at the club offerings below. We have 15 clubs that we're offering this year to our secondary students. Some of those start right now in September. Some of them don't start until later in the year, but you can check all of that information out in the link below. And while we're talking about clubs, we also have our grammar school clubs. Those signups and those uh, offerings are available now. And so please get on, check that out because every single season, some of our clubs fill up. And so club signups for grammar school students are now live and you can sign up um, over the next two weeks or until the club is full. And so please use the link below to see the grammar school clubs. Another really important thing is lunchroom volunteers. There is a link below for lunchroom volunteers and we would just simply not be able to do lunch without the volunteers that make that possible. So parents, if you're able and willing to come on campus and help us with lunch, please use the, use the link below to sign up for lunchroom volunteering. In a few weeks, we're gonna be holding our parents' night, back to school night for grammar school students, also known as grammar school STEM night. And so that is happening on Friday, September 20th. And grammar school STEM night is an incredible opportunity that you have as parents to come onto campus and experience what class is like uh, for your students uh, through a series of STEM activities. And so I hope that you will make plans to be here for Grammar School STEM Night on Friday, September 20th at 6.30 p.m. There are more details below. After that, the next big thing that should be on your radar is our Fall Homecoming event. And so our 2019 Fall Homecoming weekend is on October 11th and 12th. That's a Friday and a Saturday. Friday, we kick things off Grandparents Day in the morning. Then this year, new, is we are moving our fall festival for preschool and elementary students. We're moving that up until Friday afternoon. And so fall festival is gonna take place simultaneously with our volleyball and soccer games. And then we're gonna wrap up the day with a bonfire. We have music planned. We have lots of great food planned. So I hope that you will make plans to be on campus on Friday, October 11th for homecoming. On Saturday the 12th, that morning, we have our Pursuit of the Pancake 5K and one mile. And so we wanna see everybody out here for the 5K one mile on Saturday, October 12th, followed by a pancake breakfast. The next event after that, uh, the last one that I'm gonna share with you uh, today is our 2019 Coventry Christian Schools Founders Dinner. Our 2019 Founders Dinner is going to be a very special evening. We have with us this year, Kim Fook, uh, also known as the Napalm Girl. And Mrs. Fook has an unbelievable story uh, about how she came to faith in Christ through the terrible tragedy that took place in her life uh, during the Vietnam War, where she was burned all over her body uh, as a result of napalm. And that how that led her 
to become a Christian and, uh, and how, that has, how her faith has now led her to a life of peace and forgiveness. Um, and so I hope that you'll come out and, and hear her powerful story uh, with us. That is again Friday, November 1st. Uh, in addition to hearing from Kim, we're also going to celebrate and honor our 2019 Coventry Christian Schools Founders Award recipients. And each year we give our Founders Award to someone uh, who has demonstrated service to our school and community here in an excellent way over a long period of time. And this year's award recipients have absolutely done that. And so I hope that you will come out because this year's couple has dedicated so much of their life to serving the community here at Coventry Christian Schools. They have been parents of students, they have been volunteers, and they have served as staff. They have been involved in just about every corner of the school's community and the school's activities over their 20 plus year uh, tenure with us. And so we want to take a few moments this year at our dinner to celebrate and honor Art and Melissa Gelwicks. And I hope that you will be there with us to thank them, to honor them for their service to our school community. That's all that I have to share with you today on this week's edition of the Eagle Express. I look forward to talking with you throughout the year this year. Uh, and we look forward to having you here with us Tuesday morning to start off our new school year. So thank you so much. Enjoy your Labor Day uh, holiday, uh, and we look forward to seeing you bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great night.